Check, check, what's going on? Check what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Elude Slower Place. Today we're playing World of Warcraft Dragonflight. It's PvP week, so we're doing some PvP on our feral druid. We're basically just going through all the alts, just gearing things up. And uh This is how the feral druid's going. This is Ashran, I think. I've not done this one very many times, maybe like once or twice. It's kind of crazy, there's a lot of players. But it's more PvE focused, so that's kind of cool. It's like Altered Valley in a way. Got an Ancient Inferno here. I like these bigger uh, epic battlegrounds. I realized a little later in the game that uh, if you're under geared, these are a good way to gear up. Cause they they last kind of long. Rebirth is now instant, cooldowns reduced by seven minutes. Only in Ashran. Conjures an arcane prison. Oh, cool. Activate a class specific book. So now I can be res every three minutes. That's interesting. We're going in again. Get the healer. I can't see shit. Where is he? He's over here. Stunned. He's going down. Can't see. Okay, he died. He died. He died. Here's the warlock. Oh, I got a bleed on him. Yeah, he's dead too. Yeah, we're all electric now. We've adapted. Look at you over here, dead. Corpse of Leb. We can just loot all these corpses. Alright, where to next? I'm, I mainly just follow the battle map. They're saying stack. They want everybody, like, together. It's, it's a good idea. I mean, it's smart. Smart to stay together. Still learning the rotation for the druid. I got a couple pieces for him already. The neck. We got both the rings and both the trinkets. I realized if you go for both the trinkets, the extra added effect here is the set bonus. Duration of incoming crowd control effects reduced by 10. Does not stack with similar effects. Increases your agility by 300 and your stamina by 2703 when in arenas, battlegrounds, or war mode. So when you go for this first, you get way more hit points faster. A lot of the early levels, like when you're gearing up in BGs, uh, most of it's been dead because you're a one-shot for most people who have any gear. But if you get the right stuff first, it looks like... You can actually survive a little bit longer. These guys are staying together pretty good. I'm looking for a healer. Oh, somebody saw me. I was going to try to sneak in and pick a healer off, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll wait for our elite to get over there. He's basically our battering ram. He's going to get through the alliance's line of defense it's a fox you guys see the fox the fox Ooh, it's a fox my lighting's horrible it's been like stormy lightning and, and clouds a lot lately so i've just been taking the opportunity to knuckle down and focus in and fully immerse myself into pvp i can show you what we've been working on after maybe after a couple of these battles or in the coming videos it's been sign of battle. Honor gains from battlegrounds and objectives and wins increased by 50%. So I've been going, going. Oh, I can show you here. We're honor level 31. Uh, we recently got a pennant, a toy. Forget where it went. 
It gives us a flag we could put on our back. It's like the uh, horde banner. Where's Sedad? Yeah, the uh, the larger epic battles like this, you can kind of space out a little bit. I, I don't totally stay focused the whole time. So that's kind of nice. I mean, you don't want to just like take it for granted that people are working to protect you from the front line. Where is it? I thought I favorited it, but I don't guess I did. Okay, we need to move forward. This one, the glorious pennant, represent your faction. I have this. Let's go. Oh, we got honorable and prestigious. Ah, so here's the honorable. Here's prestigious. So we still have to get the, uh, oh, honor level 60. Okay. This one's at honor level 175. So elite is next. Then esteemed is at honor level 90. And glorious is 175. Okay, so this is honorable. The honorable pennant. It gives me this little banner on my back. This is prestigious. It's the same. It's basically the same thing. Did the stick change? I don't... It's the same. This guy respawned his health. He should have been dead. Okay, okay, okay. How is our FPS right now? Yeah, I need to maybe do something about that. While I'm streaming, I can't have my graphics as high. Like, I like to push them up when I'm not streaming. For whatever reason, like... If you see me taking a break... The OBS, the broadcaster, puts an extra load on my PC. On, on the uh, graphics and the processing and stuff. So, I've been really, like, immersing... And in, in doing so, I've been conserving a lot of computer resources by not running the broadcaster in the back. And it's made the game a lot more fun to play. And I feel like I could stay playing longer the more fun I have. <laughs> so I've just been saying it playing longer lately. That honor level 30 was no joke. I mean, it wasn't all blood, sweat, and tears, but it was mostly blood and sweat. Um... I don't think we kill that guy. Here comes the big one. He's the door crasher. He he's who we've been waiting on. I don't know if it's always been the case where the players have been powerful enough to push up against without the door crasher getting here. But uh definitely is the case now. We would have whole battles like not even really thinking about the door crasher guy. Oh, I'd be hitting this heart of the wild. I didn't do that on purpose. I need to get better at switching switching forms and becoming bear formed and stuff like that. Because as it stands right now, when I go in bear form, I have no number two. I, I basically spam mangle, thrash, and brutal slash. What would number two be? Can I get anything on number two? Strength of the wild, maul the target. Probably that, yeah. But then I could also do that here. No, it requires bear form. Okay, I see. I see. I knew there was something off. Look, this paladin. <laughs> he got punted. Kohiro. Oh no, Kohiro got punted. All right, let's focus a little bit. We'll go in. Let's get in here where the FPS gets all cattywampus. There's a sergeant here. I don't know if we target the sergeant. I think we go for players. Here's a shaman. Yeah, he was a one shot. That was easy. All right, who else? Here's a warlock. Warlock, hello. They want us to attack this. We can attack that. There's another rare over there. Alright, we're gonna have to keep ourselves healed. 
We'll go for players whenever they come in range. Because they can become problematic. Look at this. Look at how many players and, and characters and creatures there are. Oh my god. I don't even have the quantum computer necessary to render this. Oh my god. Okay, Kenny, Kenny Base, you're going down. Alright, Kohiro, I see you there. Kohiro wanting back for revenge. That's a victory, yes! We did it, guys. Human bone chip is a reward? Yikes. I don't know about that. All right, let's see how the next battle goes till the next battle. Well, no, I got to show you like basically what we're working towards after the loading screen. Just give it a second. Give it a second. All right, you ready? This is a Lewid Druid. He's one of a few characters we got PVP geared out. I think the most PVP geared I got, I want to say Nightmare. I want to say he's the most geared, but once I got on Zarbkin, I kind of went in a little bit on him too. Uh, S Cloak, my preservation uh, evoker, he was starting to get geared as well. Alright, so we got the trinkets first, so we got all the stamina boost from that. I went ahead and replaced the rings in the neck. These are the, the easiest to replace, the low hanging fruit. And I like to replace my lowest item level first. So those were also just, they just happened to be my lowest item level because Alua Druid was a fresh 70. We can go cloak. Yeah, belt. If we want to get the cheap stuff still. A uh, weapon could be pretty good. Our weapon's decent. It's not bad. I think just the lowest eye level. We'll just continue to replace the lowest eye level. Which looks like it's going to be a 359 of our choice. So, let's go for the most expensive ones then. So, after the low lowest item level, I go for most expensive ones. So that would be a chest, legs, shoulders type situation. Do we want crit? Or do we want haste? I don't think there's another option. It's either crit or haste. So the way I got my points set up for uh, Feral. I'm telling it mastery and verse are about the same. And then haste then crit. So we're going to go haste. So that's crit. Here's haste. That's the chest. And then we can afford one other item. So belt. Belt or cloak? 65, 84. Let's go cloak. Crit. Haste. Mastery. Mastery 5-7. Mastery's the way. Yeah, mastery. No, that's not the one. This is the one. All right, that's PVP eye level of 391. So the PVP gear, the it, it's interesting how they did the power curve. I like the, how they did the power curve. Um, I don't know if it was ever the case before, but you used to be able to get like raid geared and step into battlegrounds and be pretty strong. Um, now you can't do that. The raid gear does not, well, I mean, eventually you can if you're really raid geared, but Kind of the low-hanging fruit raid gear is not really worth it. We got this and this. Oh, and you can make money PvPing as well. That was something I never realized. These rousing ire sell in the auction house because they're the crafting item required to make all the crimson PvP gear. So on some of my guys who I haven't really geared up at all, as soon as they hit level 70, the first thing I do is buy all the crimson aspirant gear. It's, I just type in crimson, search by your, your armor type, and then type the word crimson in, and it'll pop up as like a full set of gear. And I would start out in that. It's pretty expensive though. I don't know if it's worth how much they're charging. It's much better, I think, if you have a crafting profession. Get like, and you don't even have to be that profession because I was on a different class. I don't know if it recognizes your account. Or if it looks at the class. No, it doesn't look at the class because I was on like my warlock and I was getting plate patterns dropping. But
But he is a tailor. I don't know if you have to have a crafting profession, but... Uh, even if you are a freshly leveled, like, level 70, let's say you got blacksmithing or leatherworking or tailoring or something, you could still just PvP and grind your face out getting all the honor up. And as you PvP in those boxes like the one I just opened, you'll get the patterns to craft the rest of the other PvP gear. And I think it is worth it because you can recraft it and upgrade it. So um, maybe crafting PvP gear is just another way you can fill in the gaps. Um, let's go bear form and survival instincts. Oh, nah, man, I messed it up. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really know what to do when I go into bear um, form right away. Maybe crafting PvP gear another way. He has no idea, I just rez. Ah, I can't even hit him. Oh, fuck. I was looking for my noob fire, but I couldn't find it. Look, there was a rogue there too. Oh, we were getting ran up on, guys. Noob fire, I gotta get noob fire on the bar somewhere. Man, I could have tagged him. I just had noob fire where it was supposed to be but I called the ink that's sometimes the only thing you can do is just call out incoming and let people start traveling towards you I didn't have to let them cap it but uh look see no one's at lumber mill right now so while everybody's up there at farm trying to get farm back nobody's protecting lumber mill it makes sense to kind of leave it because we have the front we have the stable and the farm so there is a good chance nobody will come here. But every once in a while there's like a rogue or a stealther that comes up. And they'll try to cap this shit while no one's on it. Like right here. Uh, B BS. Watch flags. No one's watching the flags, guys. Look, I just, uh, LM. I was just saying watch flags. And then my own flag was getting capped. Alright, we're starting to go low. I'm gonna go bear form. I'm gonna heal, heart of the wild. Yeah! Why? I swear I'd be hitting these fucking buttons, man. I hit control four and then I went for control nine. And it, it lit the button up but didn't activate and I died. It was, I think it's latency. It's probably my... Most likely the fact that I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm on Wi-Fi. I don't... I, I can cable in, but... I can't right now. Because... It's the case that my Ethernet ports are burnt out, guys. Look, the temperature was fluctuating. And the electricity was struggling this past. And I burnt out my Wi-Fi ports or my Ethernet ports. Okay, so, um, that's farm. Farm. <laughs> What's the point? Why am I the only one talking? What's even the point anymore, guys? We're winning. That's the point, in a way. I'm going to stay here because we're we're kind of renowned for being an enemy team that leaves our flags unguarded. So maybe somebody will see this as an opportunity to come get this flag and I could get like a little kill. I'm not super confident in my ability to close because his eye level's not there yet. I'm still in PvE gear. I could do okay like surviving for a second because I'm a druid. But I'm not comfortable with the buttons yet. My gear's not geared up enough yet. If I wasn't so powerful on my other characters, I wouldn't be writing this guy off so much. But I am so powerful on my other characters. I just know how one of my guys could solo three of them guys. Like, if I were fighting myself as this druid, I could take like five of myself. Guys, we're gonna win. 2-2-2 two, two, two on the timer when I was seeing that. Um, Looks like the stables has a bit going on. 
Surely there's not going to be people that are sneaking up here attacking BS. There's no way they're going to ninja cap. They, they're they probably being told by their own team, just let them five cap. Let's just get this match over with. Oh, it looks like the stables is pushing LM back. We got people fighting on the roads by BS. I'm not so concerned with that. LM or BS is about to get it. LM or BS Inc. Yeah, it looks like it looks like LM. LM means lumber mill. That's that place up there, guys. That's lumber mill up there where the moon is. Oh. Oh. I don't know if uh, feral cats howl. This one does though. How? No. Alright, what are they going? LM? LM. LM3. BS seems pretty okay. They got LM! These motherfuckers. Horde wins in 20 seconds, guys. For the Horde. GG. We're gonna get some hits off. Yeah! Look at that, 126, it's all too easy, guys. If you, In some battles, it's like that. You just sit there, and you're, like, contemplating life. Like, what, what am I in battle for? What is this war even about? It just, it never ends. It's just always, every next battle, it's like I never left. Just always there. Just battling. So not all battles just struggle. Not all battles just well it was a bit it was a bit like fighting. It is fighting. Basically the essence of battle. But, uh... Okay, look, check this out. We got all this prime oh hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So we did another battle, we get another item, we get some more gear. This is this is beautiful. It's beautiful how this works. Haste versatility. Versatility mastery. Mastery. And then can we get a belt too? Yes. Crit versatility belt. Haste versatility belt. Are there only two? Alright, haste it is. And then we only have 13 on a 13 on a left. Save. Um Here's the Conquest Quartermaster, whenever the, the world finishes loading. Alright, the Conquest, we got 375. So, create a piece of Crimson Gladiator equipment at an unrated rank appropriate for your loot. What the fuck that mean? Pre a piece of Crimson Gl- Oh, okay, so this is for your alts. Whoa, okay. So you could buy your alts gear. You can get Crimson Gladiator equipment. That's this equipment. Whoa, okay. But you have to have a rating of 1400. Okay. But you could boost your alts after you do. And this one? An impressive stockpile of various goods may contain profession reagents, recipe scrolls, PVP consumables, and more. This is it. After you buy all your honor, you spend all your honor on gear, you're like, well, what good is honor? Because I've upgraded everything. Well, then you go to this. You get even more PVP goods, reagents, recipe scrolls. This is where you get the plans to craft and stuff. And then the Orboreal Distinguishment. Oh, this, this has five marks of honor, which when you get those marks of honor, you could come over here to the Elite Conquest Quartermaster and you could buy appearances with that honor. They have no honor. Okay, we got cloaks. We got a bow. Okay, not bad. 
Here's the red fire. I've been looking for the red fire. This is the red fire stuff. That looks like the Staff of Draconic uh, Secrets or something. Oh, it's like a subtlety rogue thing. Okay. So we just have, like, this is a Helden offhand. Weapons. Weapon appearances. This is where this color scheme of uh, items is. Oh, that's cool. A little mace. Okay. A dagger. All right. Yeah, it's it's basically the same weapons we've seen, but just the red versions. You could say the red versions look the coolest, though. A uh, blacksmith I have can craft that. Well, that apparent. Yeah. That. Ooh, look at that fist weapon, though. Get these lava punches. Okay. So, a Lua Druid, just in very short order, kind of got some geared up. Just, just some geared up. And then this whole time, I've been pumping them ire. Since I can't use it as a crafting... I was looking up there for the camera. Since I can't use it as a crafting item, uh... This ire here, the rousing ire, is a, much like these other rousing elements. You got fire, air, earth, frost. Some new ones are decay. Order and ire. Ire is half of order. You get order from like planting and uh, harvesting what you plant. And there are certain uh, plants and nodes that are titan touched. You get order from those. Ire is like the battleground equivalent. You, from war mode and PvP, it says right there Dragon Isle is engaging a war mode and PvP. And that's something else I've been doing too. I've been going war mode. I gotta. Oh, I could do it from here. Oh, I gotta hold thorns and I wasn't using that these... Okay. There. Uh... I'll be running out of spots to put stuff. Okay, right there. Bordy Horde! Yeah, at some point I'll need to look at these PvP talents. But yeah, um... Selling these rousing ire on the auction house real easy. I just right click it create auction and In between battles. I've just been running back and selling that stuff. You could also sell other stuff that you get too. watch 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 this We could sell potion of defiance. This is an item. We got from one of them boxes. It reduces damage taken Maybe for rated PvP, I don't know Actually, not even that. It's just, I guess, for really competitive people in regular PvP. I don't know. We must have gotten some wins. Because the weekly this week was the call to battle, as well as time walking. So we ended up getting more conquest. This conquest can then be turned into those items that I showed you earlier. There was something else we got here. This one. Proving battle. We could choose a reward. I've been going Valdraken on a few guys. I'm going to start doing that with this one too. Alright, look. Remember we got that conquest? I'm not tracking it. Uh, windows. Okay, here we go. Currency. Here's honor. Here's conquest. Now this conquest item we get... We ain't even got all of the other pieces yet, so I'm halfway tempted to just get a new item. Uh, what would we get though? We get shoulders? We don't have enough- yeah we do. Oh, there's haste. We want mastery if we can help it. Mastery? Crit verse, haste first, so then it looks like haste. Alright, we're gonna go with haste. Here it is. Ooh, those got a nice glow. Look at that. So these are all like the purple gear set. That's how the guy will look. Alua Drua gonna be balling after this. Oh, got the purple mogs, man. And then the weapons too? Oh, they're this kind. Yeah, it's like a purple. It's a violet flame. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so Lua Druid's he's rocking the shoulders now. What is the eye level? What do we get it to? 402. We're gonna keep pushing this. I got a few more slots to fill in. We got the gloves, the boots, the bracers, and the helm and, and the weapon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing these. And uh till next time guys. Well we'll probably show some other characters. Peace. Oh we got we got that Embers of Neltharian thing coming up. We watched the cinematic for it, but be be on the look at look out as well for the Embers of Neltharian. This is the chat that they the, the, the developers were having about that. This one. The opening the way. So this is coming up. This is the May 2nd. So it's, as I do this, it's April 28th as we're recording now. So here in like four or five days, we'll be set up proper for Embers of Neltharian. And uh, yeah, just keep keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing hard in the background. I'm gonna keep on trying to keep my characters up to date. I'll keep y'all posted on how they're doing. This is how they're, this is how they're doing. We got some level 70s. I ain't really leveled anyone new. I just been gearing them up. You can see the eye levels. You actually can't tell their PVP item levels. <laughs> Nightmare don't look geared at all. But he got he's got some good PVP gear on. Just trust me, guys, okay? Until next time, peace. Peace.